Hey guys, welcome back. This is the second part of lecture number 63 for from our bootcamp series. In this part, we will discuss and practice about find by query method. So find by method finds the first record matching some condition. For example, let's practice this on Rails console. Okay, so in the last part, we just practice the find and here we are going to practice the find by. So find by method requires an attribute of the model and if the value matches okay then it will face the matching record from the database if does not matches then it will uh, simply exit you from the and simply returns the nil but does not raise any exception okay so let's try to find an student that uh, student dot find by let's find it first with id the student dot find by let's say id okay so it is returning us nil and we saw in the last part that when we try to pass 100 as a id to find method then it was uh, giving an exception okay active record not found and now let's try to find that student dot uh, find by and you can pass any argument of the model let's say email Say Ravi at the bootcamp.com. Okay, so I pass the email which exists in the database or a student model database. So it returned me the matching record. Okay, if uh, I pass another email which does not exist in the database, then it will return me the nil. Let's say student.find by let's say email at the red example.com now you can see it is returning me the nil okay and you can pass any kind of model attribute to this method let's say uh, student.find by and this provide date of birth here you can see let's say date dot today no matching record found hence it returns nil and now date dot today minus 20 dot years here you can see it returns the first matching record okay so there are multiple matching records exist with the same as well but it returns the first record which match the date of birth 2002 2nd february or sorry 1st february okay now let's try to find by with an attribute which does not exist in the table since we do not have age attribute so let's try to find an student by age student dot find by age 30 now you will get an exception why because no such column is students dot age so when you use find by query just make sure that you are try to find by only existing attributes in the model you should not pass any attribute that is not exist in the model or that is not the part of the model okay so since edge is not the part edge is just a method and derived attribute we are getting its value from the database so we cannot use edge inside the find by so here it has raised an exception that is active record statement invalid why because edge is not the column in the student now find by query also can also raise the exception of active record wrote not found, record not found if it is used with the bang operator okay let's try to find use this so here when this email with this student does not exist sorry student with this email does not exist in the database now if i use this with bang operator then you can see that active record record not found why because we are trying to forcefully find the student in the table so it does not exist okay so it is not preferable to use find by with bang operator it is always preferable to use it without bang or as in normal find by okay why because you always try to avoid an exception and one more thing that for example let's say if multiple attributes or multiple objects with the same matching record exist but find by will only give you the first matching object 
always okay it only returns the single object no matter if multiple student with the same uh, or multiple object with the same provided value exist in the database for example let's say try to find the date of birth student dot present sorry student dot plug date of birth so here you can see that every student has the date of birth 1st february 2002 okay no one has a date of birth value different than that but still it returns me the first record why because it only matches the first object not the entire list so it always give you a single record and not the array okay so this is the find query and how it works and you can use it on any model but make sure that you are using a proper attribute which exists in the database as well and you are not using any other attribute than that and if you want to avoid exception or record not found exception with find by then just make sure that you are running it without bang operator and it is not preferable as well okay so that's all about the find by method in the next lecture we will discuss about first or last query methods till then practice find by at your end as much as you can okay so Thanks for watching this and let's meet into the next lecture. Till then, Tata, goodbye, take care and stay safe.